Welcome to In the Mix with Rafia. And today we have Denise and Christina here from HOA Made Easy Management Company. Right? That's correct. So first, tell me about how you two met. Well, we actually have known each other story. since she was, yeah, this will be a long story, but long story short, short I've known her since she's four years old. Oh, and wow, I decided we decided to go into business together okay. two years ago. Oh, good. Okay, that's wonderful. The rest is history. The rest yeah, is history. Right. Is, is it fun. fun doing business together as friends? It's easier. It's it's easier. Yeah, I think everybody knows their limits and their boundaries and their roles. So it just makes day to day just kind of Great. Yeah, easier. So tell me a little bit about your business. I know you're in Culver City, so tell us where you are exactly. Yes, we are in Culver City. Our address is 5563 Sepulveda Boulevard, Suite B. And we are uh, in between, well, I know everybody knows Sorrento's. <laughs> so yes. we're right across the street yes. from Sorrento's. And Christina and I opened up our business about two years ago, and we manage strictly homeowners associations. And we have a background of uh, managing condominiums for combined uh, about 40 some odd years. I've been in business 33, she's been in the business 11 years. Oh, wow. So yeah, so we, we know our stuff and we like, love to cater to the board members. Okay, so that's who you work with is the board members of the condominiums and the different yeah. properties? Yes, we okay. do. Mm -hmm. We deal with the board members and of course the homeowners contact us for all their concerns. Okay, mm -hmm. and you manage all the everything, day-to-day -day things and big stuff, small stuff, everything? So there's actually three lines to our business. We, fo we focus primarily on homeowners association, condos, townhomes, co-ops. So it is strictly with the board of directors. Okay. Um, we service anywhere between the valley, Culver City on the west side going down to Compton. Three lines of the business is the property management side where we're doing the day-to-day -day common area maintenance. The second line is the bookkeeping financial reporting. That's really important mm -hmm. so that homeowners can plan for long-term uh, repairs. And then the third side is the consulting side where we're really guiding everyone and the homeowners and the board on how to deal with difficult homeowners, how to update their governing documents, really just taking a lot of the burden off of the board of directors, really being their partner. It's really a partnership and really just managing the day-to-day uh, living in a, in a co-op, which is, uh, you, do, you would be surprised, nine out of ten people live in some sort of common community, mm -hmm. and there's a lot that goes on, a lot of laws and requirements, so we, we deal with all of that so that you can just enjoy your home. We keep you wow. in compliance. Yeah, you Civil code requirements. Wow. What's going on. So, I know you grew up around here. Did you grow up around here as well? Uh, half and half, uh, part here in Santa Monica, Culver City, and the other part in Orange County, so I have a nice blend of the two communities or counties. So uh, Culver City is my home for the last 12 yeah, years as far as work-wise. Okay. Um, but I love the city and, and love uh, the community. I'm, I'm really proud to be part of this local business community. It's and the Chamber of Commerce, supportive. that's been yeah. very supportive yeah, so for us, the Chamber of Commerce. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we are. Definitely. So I'm a member too. We're so happy mm -hmm. we're helping each other out, you know, business yeah. community. This is great. Um, we should create more of a business community aside just from the Chamber of Commerce mm -hmm. to which they are great but also you know helping each other and that's a great little you know thing so that's why we're doing our little segment where mm -hmm. we're inviting businesses to come out and talk to oh. us and tell us about their business so we get a lot of views on our um, little segment here it's kind of a fun little thing and it's fun to talk to different businesses and see what they're doing as well. Yeah, so we were so excited when we heard that you were inviting us down and just to have the yeah, opportunity to look at this beautiful display. display. Oh, jewelry. I already have a couple items. I hope you don't see <laughs> the right one. Absolutely. So absolutely. Here. Yeah. So, um, so you decided on Culver City for your offices. Mm -hmm. What made you choose Culver City? Just well, uh, because I live in Culver City, and we're real, you know, I'm a big supporter of Culver City, mm -hmm. and so, well, we, we just had a perfect opportunity that came our way, and mm -hmm. it worked out. The office space was perfect, the pricing was perfect, yes. and Everything. it's really centrally located, mm -hmm. so not it only is there a lot of, there's um, communities here that we do, um, you know, condominiums, but so just locally, I mean, just supported by the Playa Del Rey, the yeah. West LA, and it's very easy to get to any side of the city. 
Mm -hmm. um, just because you have a 405 so close and the 10. And your commute is short. And your commute yes. is short. <laughs> That's yeah. for sure. Yeah. So what I love about it, I'm really close to my home, so it's really nice. You know, I, I think it's four traffic lights from my house. Lucky. So, and I love my office space because it's great and very bright and a lot of sunshine comes through here, which you need when you're making little tiny jewelry. Absolutely. So, um, are you guys excited about our drink? I'm excited about the drinks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Everything. The whole presentation yeah. is beautiful. So, Thank it, you. It all goes together. So before so we go to the drink, we're, ha we're making a blackberry lemon gin and tonic. So, you know, gin and tonic is a old drink, right? I mean, it's been around yep. forever. Mm -hmm. It's something that my husband always orders, um, and uh, I thought it would kick it up a little bit. So today it's going to be colorful, um, with spring in the air and everything. I thought we could do something that was pretty and colorful and also tastes good. So before I get into the drinks, I'm going to talk about a little bit of the jewelry. So I picked out some jewelry that also reflects that in lots of color. I'm showcasing a lot of tourmaline here. Mm -hmm. I it's love beautiful. tourmaline. It's beautiful. So these are all tourmaline. And I don't know if everybody knows, but tourmaline comes in all sorts of colors. It's not just one color. So it actually comes graduated like this, just like that. So you have pinks and blues and greens and even goes to black. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? It's gorgeous. It's one of my favorites, it's and I just want. really love it. <laughs> well, the whole display is going to wear it all, yeah, all, all together. All together. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Really and that's that. the thing about my jewelry is that you want to be able to layer and mm -hmm. not feel like it's you know overwhelming you and feel heavy on your chest all day. Mm -hmm. So it's a good thing to be able to layer all your pieces and get a look like this. This would cost a lot, though. <laughs> so maybe you could start off small and get, do a few small, gradually add pieces, exactly. And then uh, I put some, like, these These kind of remind me of blackberries, don't they? They do. These are um, Japanese keshi pearls, and um, I've got them in yellow for the lemon, and I've got the, the pink ones for the blackberries. And I just thought, you know, just color. Just in general, it's there's it's spring, there's lots of flowers, it's great, so it kind of represents that in the paper too, it has flowers in there. So um, today is just all about Easter and spring colors, and we just had Easter. Did you guys have a nice Easter? It was gorgeous. Yeah? The weather was great. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to go into the drink, and um, today I have blackberries down here, some lemons, and some mint and I'm gonna muddle it so I'm just gonna kind of go in here and just kind of push this down until blackberries have some juice coming out of it and the lemon has some juice coming out of it so do you create your own drink or is this something that you I do I create a lot of things oh wow <laughs> I'm and I don't drink <laughs> I know a lot of you. <laughs> And I don't drink, but um, that's but how you are this... quite the hostess, I must say. Thank you. Um, and, and for those of you who don't know, this is how this whole segment started was because one of my employees thought it was really funny that I make drinks, but I don't drink. So, um, so we started doing this, and it's been a real hit, and we love it. And um, it uh, it kind of you know allows us to kind of tie in the jewelry with the drink. So after you do this um, muddling of the drinks, and I'm just going to use this paper towel so I don't get blackberry all over, um, you're going to fill this up with some ice. I can smell mm, that. It smells really good. Mm, that sounds really good. So you're just going to do a bunch of ice. It's a nice summer drink. But it is yeah, refreshing. really light. And refreshing. Now, I know you like to throw some parties too, Denise. Yeah. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to have to use this. There you recipe. go. Take, and we've been doing um, these uh, in the mixes for a while, so we have quite a few of them on there with some really delicious drinks. Yes, now, I've I'm, seen some. They look so Yeah. <laughs> You've got to try some. I know a lot of our friends have tried them and have uh, given us feedback. Um, I'm trying not to get you too drunk, so I'm not making it really strong. 
but you could always make it stronger, okay? And then that was gin. That was just some Tanqueray, and um, I'm going to top it off with some tonic water. I wonder if you could substitute this with vodka since it's the clear. No, you yeah, could. Would yeah, yeah. yeah. Would be too much clear. you could do okay. that. And you could also um, do some, you know, other kind of gin mm -hmm. as well. Like, it matches so perfectly. <laughs> look how beautiful yeah, that looks. Like, it ties pretty. into all of this now. Exactly. Wow, and see, that's, so that's the beauty of, of, wow. our, um, of our In the Mix segment is that we try to kind of coordinate the drink with the jewelry and tie it all Perfect. together. But isn't that look beautiful? It's beautiful. It does. Well, you guys oh, can be my little too tasters. Pretty to drink. And, yeah. Cheers to you. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for coming on today. Thanks for Appreciate having me. Thank you, my ADC Management Company. Please give us a call. Anybody else who wants to join us at any time, um, if you have a business out there and you want to um, come out on our show, let us know and contact us through our website or through Facebook. We'll see you next time. And our website is www.hoamadeeasy.com. Thank Bye, guys. Thanks, Denise. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks Christina. Thanks for having